Outer Banks Season 2 is changing everything. Outer Banks kept everyone stuck to the screen throughout a fantastic first season. And like the show, we suggest you keep watching till the end, so you don't miss out anything and find out everything you need to know about the upcoming season of one of Netflix's new series to binge watch. We will find out all the information available and why the game is about to change. But before we get to that, why don't we rewind a little bit and, for you more distracted at home, have a quick recap of Season 1. I'm Jacob with Finns Media, and this is why Outer Banks Season 2 is changing everything. What is Outer Banks all about? First, let's go together through the Outer Banks journey. And where do we begin? There are so many twists and turns, steamy romance, friends, enemies, villains, heroes, and, of course, the gold. If you go through some of the show's fandom reviews, many will argue that Outer Banks can be seen as a mix of Riverdale, Gossip Girl, Ozark, and The O.C., just to name a few. And could we ask for more of a show? So, what do we have up until this point? As you probably know by now, the first season has depicted teenage warfare between the rich and the poor to hunt a treasure worth $400 million. John, the not-so-wealthy 17-year-old boy, along with his group of friends, decides to find a lost treasure after his father goes mysteriously missing while looking for the gold himself. That's the story. Of course, that, like any other story, there are the bad guys who try to prevent this from happening. In this case, there are a group of rich and spoiled teens who also want to find the treasure and give John a tough fight. And just as any other teen drama out there, there are loads of love triangles, family issues, betrayals, intrigues, and everything in between. Not to mention all the mystery, suspense, and the urge to know who, in the end, gets the gold. All this put together is more than enough to get us hooked and keep us stuck to the screen, wishing that the show ends fast so we can find out who wins. In its essence, Outer Banks is a show about teens. It outlines how the groups face the pressure of college, scholarships, drugs, and violence. It is a show about life, and it is raw, tough, with no filters. There's no silver lining, and the audience gets to see something which they can actually relate to. So, one more reason why everyone should watch it immediately. And to better understand why Season 2 will be a huge game-changer, we have to first understand and go through what happened during Season 1, especially how it ended. Only then, we can live to the idea of a next season. So for those of you who haven't watched it yet, be warned, spoilers incoming. The story so far. Season 1 begins with John B. giving us a bit of background info about Outer Banks. We find out that there are the Pogues, or Pogue, the middle class group living on the south side, and the Kooks, the wealthy group living on the rich side. We are introduced to the Pogue gang main characters, JJ, the hero's best friend, Kiara, a Kook turned Pogue, because that's where she felt comfortable. Pope, said to be the smartest of the group, and the main character, John B. It is shown that John's father has disappeared, and he refuses to consider him dead until the body is found. Wouldn't you? And then comes the main event that would change Outer Banks forever. Hurricane Agatha strikes and uncovers a shipwreck. The gang decides to visit the wreckage site where they find a compass that belonged to John B.'s father. Convinced that that finding points towards his missing father, John B. leads his companions on a wild quest for answers. In their quest, the gang finds a FedEx package in the graveyard with the coordinates of the gold-filled ship, the Royal Merchant. The story moves on and John B. and his gang keep searching for the gold. This is the part where we begin to realize the chemistry around Sarah and John B. Just as John B. starts to make a breakthrough in the hunt for the gold, he decides to include Sarah in his plans. The gang's not happy with this, but they all remain dedicated to the search for the treasure. Later on, we accompany John B. as he, at last, learns the horrific truth regarding his father. He's dead after all. And responsible for his death was none other than Ward, a wealthy kook, and Sarah's father. John B. sets off a chain of events that threatens everything that he and his friends have fought to achieve up until now. They push through and the quest for the treasure goes on. And when the gang is at the moment when they feel they almost got it, we see it, a plane filled with gold flying over them. And who's on the plane? Ward himself. 
the gang and everyone at home is devastated. Soon after that, as we move further into the last episode, we unexpectedly see Key kissing Pope. What's going on? We also see John B. taking it out on Ward on how he killed his father and framed him for murder. Maybe we're getting a bit too much in the first season, but oh boy, what a ride. We hope that if you're new to the show, you at least got the basic idea of what the hell is going on. In the end, we see Sarah and John B. awakening, stuck to their boat with life vests on. Sure, why not? That certainly is not the strangest thing that happened in Outer Banks. Could we possibly ask for a better, yet so frustrating cliffhanger? What is coming next? As we've seen in the season finale, Sarah and John B. are on a boat. Why? They're heading to the Bahamas, where Ward has flown off with the gold. We know that the quest for the treasure has not been easy for the gang. Enemies have been made, doors were open into the past, so we will most certainly see great revenge coming up. At least, we hope so. The gang will continue to fight for their lives, maybe harder than ever since the stakes are now way higher, and we can't forget about the gold. Jonathan Davis, who plays Pope, has taken his social media by storm to tell fans that huge things are coming. Big facts, I promise y'all ain't ready. We're surely going to uncover a whole lot of new things, and this, as usual, will only bring new mysteries to solve. Josh Pate, one of the show's co-creators, has also teased us by saying that there are going to be some new villains, along with the old ones, so we better get ready for some next-level fight. There are also some theories going around in the Outer Banks fandom, some of which are plain crazy. Fans suggest that perhaps John B. will find his mother. Some say that we'll see Sarah contacting Wheezy in the Bahamas. And a lot of people theorize that maybe the plane with the gold isn't even going to make it to the Bahamas. We can't help but feel more and more excited about all this. One thing is for sure, there's going to be some sort of story in the Bahamas, as Josh Pate has already teased that there are a couple of episodes that have been partially filmed there. What might be coming next? We have to wait and find out. So why is Outer Banks Season 2 changing everything? If you've been watching closely, you already can tell how much better the new season will be. Not only will we follow the characters we know and love, but we will also meet new interesting ones, new villains, as if there weren't enough. Questions will be answered and new mysteries will unfold. And we can never forget, the gold is still out there, waiting to be fetched by the Pogues. But who better to talk about the new season than their creators? Here's what the creators of Outer Banks have to say about Season 2. We've turned up the dial on all that fans adored about Season 1. More mystery, more romance, and higher stakes. It'll be a full-throttle, action-packed adventure. And they continue. New friends also bring new foes as they're back on the trail of the gold, while the stakes for Kiara, Pope, and JJ rapidly escalate at home. The $400 million is still in the game, but will the uncovering of a newfound secret reunite the group for a fresh mission? The adventure of a lifetime awaits, but uncharted waters ahead mean our pogues must do all they can to make it out alive. There's so much new ground to explore that a subsequent season would essentially keep in touch with itself, so we should keep our fingers crossed while it happens. We will see at least one new face joining the Outer Banks, as in April it was reported that Carlassia Grant has joined the cast. As much as we are eagerly awaiting the new season, Outer Banks Season 2 doesn't have an official release date yet. It was rumored to premiere in June 2021. But Netflix has already revealed the list of shows for that period, and there are no Outer Banks included. But don't panic, it will most probably be released sometime this summer. Or at least, we all hope so. The Pogues vs. Kooks class fighting turned into actual battle for a treasure will go on outside the bubble that is Outer Banks. We have to stick around to find out what new adventures are coming. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our fresh content. Until next time.